My name is Amara Keller. I'm Paiute, a uh, Paiute woman from Bishop or Paiahupawa, where the water flows. Um, my family comes from Benton or Uduutu, hot water, the place of hot water, and also Tobo Wahamatu, big pine area, um, and I feel good. I'm with a group of indigenous women, um, mostly Mahupi, which are uh, Paiute women, um, walking along the what is known as today as the John Murr Trail, um, but these trails predate John Murr, um, so we're calling it the Numu Poyo, which is the People's Trail. Manahu Inaniene Jolie Varela Numunu Paiuhunaru Yesh Tuli River Nukimaru. My name is Jolie Varela. I am Tuli River Yoka in Paiute, and I come from the land of flowing water. I founded Indigenous Women Hike last year in May. And it started because I was trying to figure out how to bring the sacred fire home to my community from Standing Rock. When we travel without permits, we're saying that these are our ancestral homelands and we've been a part of these lands for thousands of years. And we don't need a piece of paper that allows us to travel through them in ceremony. So for me, it was really important to be a part of this journey, to be standing here with other Numa women and other women who are in solidarity with this movement. This is a huge movement where women are moving throughout the land like we always have. The, the healing of a community does begin with the healing of women. And for us to be able to move through these lands, to reconnect and to really strengthen our connection to these areas, it helps us to remember our ancestors who walked before us. And we feel the strength of our ancestors. We, we feel the prayers from everyone back home in our communities. We feel that and we carry that with us as we walk and as we hike. We just have to think about the ones who walked before us, think about all of the people who are praying for us, and think about the future generations who are going to walk after us. Mm. And that's what really gives us power and strength and that's how we've been able to move. Our identity is directly connected to the land and our people have been disconnected from these areas. When our people were placed on reservations, we were removed from our ancestral territories. And this is our ancestral territory that we're standing in now. And we've been able to talk to people and have conversations on the trail and remind them that these are still our ancestral territories and that we are still here.